Hello, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda, and today we have Princess Chelsea, pop royalty in our midst. <laughs> How you doing? Good. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to even mention that we do have your good angle. Is yeah. that something you're very uh, uh, um, persnickety about? Uh, no, not, not as much as other pop stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. We, yeah. we want you to look your best. So, so welcome up to the 13th floor. You're about ready to release your new album and you're going to go on tour first in New Zealand and then over to Europe. So it's all very exciting. What's the, what, what kind of, do you have a kind of feeling of impending anything as all this is about to unfold? Um, I, impending exhaustion. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I get a little bit nervous before an album release, definitely. Yeah, I, I feel strange at the moment. Yeah. Not bad, strange, okay. but just strange. Just as something is going to happen. Yeah. Have to wait and see. Now, I have to say thank you very much. You've brought a 45 of, of uh, No Church on Sunday, which is definitely going in the collection. <laughs> so. It's got a uh, rejected album track, um, not because it's bad, but right. because it didn't quite fit. <laughs> Digital Dream Girl. Yep. Well, let's talk about that. Why didn't it fit? Um, it, uh, it sounds like a synth pop track. Right. Um, I kind of like Eurythmics inspired, which I really like. Um, and as a single, it's very catchy, but it just didn't fit in with the general theme or mood of the album. And which leads us to the, ask the obvious question, what is the general theme or mood of the album? The general theme or mood of the album is... Um, well, we should first of all say the title is The Great Cybernetic Depression. Yes. So that will obviously kind of set the tone for That sets it. the tone, yeah. It's yeah. good to put it in context, yeah. Um, so this is where it's, I'm going to get a bit rambly. So oh, that's good. Ramble on, yeah. as Led Zeppelin once said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wrote a lot of it in 2014, um, apart from having a few demos that I began in 2013. And it was not a great year <laughs> so I was, it was a little bit you know it did suck yeah I feel like it sucked for a lot of people um, everyone that I've ever spoken to about that they were all happy that it was over with good, and yeah kind of glad a that lot they of got plane crashes it. a lot of things happening yeah. with a lot of people um so yeah so basically there's an impending sense of me being essentially pretty pretty down mm -hmm. um and instead of um kind of wanting to write an album that was just a, me complaining a lot for 10 tracks. I thought that might be a bit boring. So I created this, <laughs> this metaphorical world event called the Great Cybernetic Depression, which happened sometime in the future, right. about 2023. Right. If you look at the We're So Lost video, this concept had started back when we d did that in 2013. It's set in that year, and I'm walking around a dystopian future. Right. So there's a grand design to all of this. There's, yeah. It's very vague and very Chelsea-esque, so <laughs> sorry about that. I kind of forgot that I have to explain this when I put the album out. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's me just channeling, feeling bummed out and weirded out by the music industry and some various personal things happening to me through a weird little narrative. Um, so during the album, I reference it directly um, in about three or four or five songs, including the new single, I'm getting right. ahead of myself. Right. Um, so yeah, theme is, does that make sense? It, so far, sort and I'm of. sure it'll make even more sense once we hear the record. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Now, you, you mentioned the single. I assume that you're referring to No Church on Sunday. Um, yeah, I'll, I was referring to Too Many People, oh. um, which has only just been put to radio like yesterday. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Right, i got to keep um, up with these things. It's, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, well, let's, let's talk about No Church on Sunday because the, mm. the video has been up for that uh, for a little while on YouTube. And your career, as it were, kind of got a big jolt from your previous video. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which was, I assume, rather unexpected, but welcome. Yeah, it was pretty, yeah, like the cigarette show, it has a lot of views on YouTube and it gets a lot still, like, I think it's about 25,000 a day. Pretty cool. Um, I feel like it's gone past music fans now and right. Just in circulating the, the office. <laughs> <laughs> so so when, with that in the back of your mind, did, you, did that affect how you approached this video? Uh, no, no, not at all, yeah, no, I, um, I mean, if I wanted to probably try and be really successful, probably the smart thing to do would for me to be like, okay, 
So let's do a whole album that's like a cigarette duet and let's right. really go for that. So I kind of did the opposite. I was like, nah, I could do a synth album and make it a concept album about how I'm depressed. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, like it's great that that happened. But um, I, the video, it's a kind of a standalone idea from yeah. the first album. Well, the, yeah. for folks who haven't seen the video, and maybe we can show a little bit of it, uh, mm. talk about um, how it was made or what you had in mind when you're. Um, is this for together? Cigarette Joy or the No, no, no for, for No Church on oh, yeah. Sunday. Okay, so um, I worked with um, Simon Ward, who's a Wellington based um, video maker. I kind of feel like he's a visual artist. Um, he films and edits and directs all of his um, projects. Um, I think most people would maybe involve a few more people. He does have a, a great team who help him do visual effects and things like that. Um, but so I filmed it with him um, and it's at his place in Wellington which is his lounge is converted into a giant green screen. Yes. I it's for a DIY. Uh -huh. yeah. See my lounge is a studio yeah, exactly. today and your, his is a green screen it makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you, so for folks who may not be aware of and most people probably are these days but a green screen meaning that you're going to be performing in front of these green screens and then the other stuff is going to be keyed behind you and yeah. so you can't actually see it when you're working with it, right? Yeah, so that's what No Church is, was me um, very late at night sort of performing in these various outfits um, <laughs> and then Simon's And crew. hairdos. And hairdos, yeah. <laughs> 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 I haven't got much hair at the moment actually, I popped it off. <laughs> but, um, and Simon's made this um, very psychedelic, futuristic um, world behind me and it's quite apocalyptic. Yeah, it works pretty well. It, I mean, yeah. you you interact with it as if you were actually able yeah. to see it. So. He's always yelling. He's like, "Now there's some bricks flying at you." So I'm going like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite hard, actually. I can imagine. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah. You, you you mentioned to me earlier that you're working on some more videos. Is that right? Um, yeah, I've, all with Simon. So I've got um, a new one coming out for Too Many People, which is a new single. It's just been put on radio in New Zealand at the moment. Um, and uh, it is, what can I say, it's, it's very DIY as well um, with Simon and it's, um, it's got a lot of smoke. Right, lots of smoke, that's always a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's all I should say about it. I don't want to give too much away. No, you don't want to, want to trade secrets. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously the videos are extremely important for, as, as you've already shown, but yeah. Do you worry about them overshadowing the music at all? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I feel like with the cigarette duet, that's probably happened a little bit right. um, because it's you know it's gone viral, so to speak, um, and so a lot of people that are watching it are just watching it for the video or because it's the thing that people are watching and they right. don't really care about the music. Right. Um, I feel in this case, the stuff that I'm doing with Simon, we've got a definite theme going on, so I, I feel like the videos complement the music and give it more context. Right. Yeah, particularly with the We're So Lost video and Church on Sunday, the second album, um, they're sort of part of the art itself as yeah. well. Hmm. So you're going on the road. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're going to New Zealand cities for a little bit and then you're heading off to Europe. So mm -hmm. you brought along your poster. What, yes, what, I did. Show folks your poster. It's very <laughs> exciting. Yes. It has, has the album cover and the dates. Yep. So. Okay, I'm going to show my poster now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is what the album cover looks like, which is my head. Yes, that is your head. Yeah, and me with like probably a lot of Photoshop, to be honest. Let's be honest here. Um, and <laughs> in front of a nebula. Um, there's a lot of nebula space visuals with this album because that's what it sounds like. So. Right. Okay. Why not match it up? Yep. Um, and these are the dates here. So Auckland, 3rd of May, King's Arms, Sunday. It's going to be early, so you'll be home by midnight. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones are there. Yes. And, and you're touring with a band? I Who, am. Who's playing with you? Um, I've got some great musicians. Um, Jonathan Bree. Right. Um, Who you've very been important. working with forever, right? Yeah, very important. He, um, I would say he's my rhythm section with recordings. Like he, he does all the drum parts. Um, on my albums and um, a lot of the bass parts. Right. Um, so he's very much a creative partner and um, he's, he was involved in Little Golden Book as well. Um, then I've got Jonathan Pierce, um, who is an, he's a producer and he plays in a lot of bands, including the Beths who are playing in Auckland. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and Jackson Hobbs, who is a, a really great drummer. He's been compared to the drummer from Can. Oh, really? oh my God. <laughs> he was, Jackie, what's his, yeah. Yeah, he was very happy about that. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, That's pretty high praise, yeah, I must say. Yeah, and he plays in a band called Sharpie Crows um, and uh, um, Diana Tribute. It's another project he's involved uh -huh. in. Yeah, he's the, um, the avant, more avant-garde one of us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and are you taking all those guys over to... Over to Europe, Europe? yeah. Yeah. And what is the reception you get in Europe? Is it, how does it compare to when you play here? Um, touring can be quite a mixed bag, actually, um, as a sort of up-and-coming band. Um, I was very surprised the first time I went to Europe. Uh, I played my first ever show in Prague um, in Czech Republic. Right. And uh, I had no idea what to expect. And it was a sold-out show. Um, you know, it was about 600 people. Um, and there were people queuing up outside trying to get tickets and I just couldn't believe <laughs> I just couldn't believe it I mean like 600 people is not a lot to some people but that's a lot to me yep. in a city um, uh, it's, it's, it's twice yeah. as many as can fit into the King's Arms I think so yeah yeah well I heard that apparently 800 people can fit there but maybe if you were standing on each other's shoulders uh, I think I've been to a couple of those shows where yeah. I thought you were standing on my shoulders um, <laughs> yeah I mean I feel like um, in Europe, the I guess the gig-going crowd seems to be more variety in ages, uh -huh. and um, so you'll have families come to shows. There's more all all ages shows. Um, it's not just perhaps people in their twenties and thirties, forties who go to gigs. It's older people as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel like I've always had a pretty great support from New Zealand, though. Um, yeah, I feel cool. pretty lucky about that. Excellent. Yeah. So now, when we were talking before we did this, you suggested, you, you apologized for not performing yeah. today, which, which I, I was looking forward to, but uh, <laughs> while I got you on camera, you were going to possibly come back, so yes, I'm gonna we'll come get back you to commit uh, um, <laughs> now. Yeah, I need to work on a solo Chelsea kind of performance, I think yeah. that would be quite nice. Yeah. To Although you can bring the whole band in, we can, yeah. we can set you up and we could do that. get a PA going and the whole yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> sounds. Uh, we got another band. We, uh, today we're we're recording three different interviews and in bands. So oh really? Trinity Roots was just sitting where you were a few minutes ago. Oh right. And then that's where they were playing, and then oh, wow. uh, someone else is coming later on. So yeah, cool. It's full on. Well, I'll, I'll be playing here. Soon. Okay. All yeah. right. Great. Well, <laughs> good luck with the record. Thank you for the forty-five. Oh, um, right. Good luck on the tour, and we'll see you on the other side, maybe in August or so. Yeah, I'll be back in August. So. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Okay.